what you just heard is called coil wine. And if you are a PC gamer, you're probably used to this. But if you are a console only gamer, this is probably something new for you. And I know it's hideous, loud, and annoying. Coil wine is a buzzing sound that is produced by an electrical current going through a power regulating component, like a transformer or an inductor. The current makes the wiring to vibrate and produce the horrible sound. It's most likely to be present in bad quality power supplies, but nowadays it's really common to be found in high-end GPUs, and the PS5 of course has one, making it a perfect candidate to suffer of this issue. But wait, take a breath, count to 10. Your console is not faulty, cold wine is not dangerous, and it doesn't mean your console is about to die. Sometimes goes away just with the use of the console. GPUs like the NVIDIA 1390 have coil wine in some degree too, so there is nothing to be worried about. Coil wine tends to be louder when the GPU is rendering at high frame rates, so probably you're going to hear your PS5 screaming when you play games like Call of Duty Black Ops in 120Hz mode. Higher frame rate makes the whining noise louder. Let's compare the coil wine noise from 60Hz mode and 120Hz mode. But before starting, let me explain how we are going to do the tests. We place the microphone 10 centimeters away of the console and the input gain was set up to get better results with the recordings. And this is what we got. Some other games will make the console whine louder when the graphical intensity is higher, like for example here in Spider-Man Miles Morales, while you are in the main menu and the GPU is not being pushed hard, the noise is reduced almost to none, but once you get back to the game, you will hear it again. Coil wine affects PlayStation 4 games too. Let's take a look to Resident Evil 3 Remake. The same amount of coil wine is present. This is because the GPU is being used at 100%. Some consoles could whine louder than others, that's a lottery, no one is able to know the amount of coil whine without firing up the console, so there is no specific rule for this. There are a lot of documented cases that you can find in reddit about people returning their consoles just to get a brand new console that is noisier than the original one. And this gets even worse with the short supply from Sony. You could end up in a waiting list up to 2 months until you get your console replaced. And have in mind, you have to send your console to Sony before getting the replacement. In a nutshell, you could end without any gaming console for months. So if your console is whining, don't worry about it, enjoy it. Move it to a different place that is not too close to you and try to not make a big deal of it. Thank you for watching, this was Serge from Method, this is all for today. Bye for now.